Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to create Chrome material in SAP using a special transaction called MMR1. So this is material creation special. Normally we use MM01 to create a, any raw material. Previous videos I explained you how to create semi finished product using MMB1 and to create finished product using MMF1. Now raw material using MMR1 transaction. If you enter and here like I explained earlier videos and this screen is very similar to the MM01 screen and here raw material type is already selected. You don't need to select it right and the industry sector we have to select it and give your the material report uh, name because in this system we have external numbering. I'll keep this copy from um, otherwise I have to fill each and every field inside the material master manual. Okay. Then select the views for the raw material basic data one two is required. Normally you don't sell raw material so you don't need sales views and especially you need Purchasing view MRP 1, 2, 3, and 4. Then you need costing 1, costing 2, accounting 1, and accounting 2. So those are the views you need. Quality management, warehouse management, those things are optional. Okay then select organization and view level and you can select the copy from plant and the storage location and enter the storage location and plant you want to create this raw material then you go there give a description and the unit of measure of your raw material material group in basic data one and go to basic data two nothing you have, you have important you have to fill you can keep this as it is because normally you don't use, use these segmentations and there are some scenarios very complex scenarios you may have to use those data as well if you're worrying about my gui uh, this is web interface of sap and little bit different to your normal gui if you're using uh, traditional gui in your computer so in the purchasing unit of measure is already coming if you have order unit different to base unit you can enter that but here purchasing group is important if you do the purchasing uh, during the reporting it is important so you can enter the first group as well if you have and then mrp1 and these are the data uh, MRP type is important, mandatory inter measure over this coming from the basic data one and MRP2. The procurement type is default to F. You can't change it here because now I'm, I'm using standard over type ROH. But we can change the configuration and we can make this editable as well if required. So production thread location and then backpush it is important uh, to select backpush if you do the production mode confirmation using 311 raw material consumption right so it is important to select backpush if you plan to consume your, your raw material during the consumption and mrp2 and mrp3 MRP4 data and then accounting. In the accounting, you have to select the valuation class. This is very important. This is where from this you will match your GL GL mapping and the price control is normally moving average for raw material. But there are some cases where you select the standard for the raw materials as well. And you give a moving average 
twice and here tick quantity structure material origin right that's it so this is how you create a raw material using special transaction mm r1 that's it thanks for watching please subscribe and press the bell icon see you